Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Hey, hi, it's Alex with an I, and today we're unboxing my Bird and Blend tea order. Look at how cute this box is. It's got little stamps that are supposed to represent different cities in England. Very cute. This Oxford one might be my favorite. So let's crack into the box and see what we got. I'm so excited. This is my first order from Bird and Blend, uh, and this is going to be my first time trying any of their teas. I chose Bird and Blend because they're a UK based company so they're a lot more feasible for me here in Europe and they ship to Ireland so now that I'm in Dublin I decided to give them a try. So when you first open the box there's some branding printed on the inside, have a brutiful day and on the other side it says, hello, is it tea you're looking for? Hello, is it tea you're looking for? And I thought that was kind of cute. So you open the box and they've got some paper bits here, including your shipping manifest with a little handwritten note written on it. I thought that was pretty endearing. They also sent along some lovely sticker back arts from various artists that contribute to their uh, boxes. I guess these are the front facing stickers of their tea club boxes, but they sent along a couple of extra, I think as a special bonus. This little card here is for their Instagram. So check them out on Instagram at Bird and Blend Tea. After that, you get two little tea samples. For me, I got a, this is a rooibos tea. It is rhubarb and custard, award-winning tangy rhubarb and creamy custard rooibos blend. So this is just one tea bag. This one is called Belle's Breakfast. Oh, isn't that great? Um, an Enchanted Rose Breakfast Blend, perfect for your teacup. And that is a black tea with rose petals in it. I think that'll be a really cool one to try. Next up, they got these shipping snakes. It's actually sort of a, a weave here. It's all cut from one big piece of cardboard, which is really interesting. They mention on their packaging that they're working towards being the sort of industry leader in biodegradable packaging and biodegradable tea bags and things like that. All right, so without further ado, let's crack into all the teas I ended up getting. So what I did is I ended up getting. So what I did was I ordered their pick and mix loose leaf teas, which gave me the option of 10 of their popular tea blends. Um, in 20 gram size envelopes. So I'll go through those first. First one I got is called Bears Like Marmalade and it's inspired by Paddington Bear. Um, it says Paddington Bear's beloved orange marmalade infused tea. It looks like it is a herbal tea. It doesn't look like there's any black tea or anything listed in it. So it must be um, herbal or mostly caffeine free. This one is Bonfire Toffee. Smoky black tea with caramel and apple. It's got black tea, cinnamon, air dried apple, Lapsang Souchong black tea, safflower, and some natural flavors in it. That one sounds like it's going to be delightful. This one I ordered specifically because it's a caffeine free tea, therefore is good for sleeping. It's called Enchanted Narnia. It's a Turkish delight inspired um, tea and it is rose and cocoa. That's what the pr flavor profile says here. Turkish delight brew with magical rose and creamy cacao. It has robots, cocoa shells, rose petals, lemongrass and raspberry. So that one will be good as a evening cup of tea so that it doesn't um, keep me up all night. I got their birthday cake blend, which is, I believe, a rooibos. Yes, a rooibos tea. It is vanilla sponge with sweet icing and cake sprinkles. Oh, how fun is that? There's sprinkles in the actual blend. I can see them in the, um, in the ingredients list here. That's really fun. Can't wait to give that one a try. 
This one is called Cherry Bakewell. It's inspired by a Bakewell tart. The, classy cherry and, uh, the classic cherry and almond tea time treat. It's a white tea with almond, cranberries, hibiscus, rose hip, apples, and currants. Yum. That one sounds like it'll be really fantastic to go with something like a scone. Oh, speaking of scones, let me just tell you guys, I have been making scones from scratch recently, and are they ever good? I'll have to link the video down below of the recipe I've been using. The only modification I make to the recipe is where it recommends a quarter cup of cream and three quarters of a cup of milk. I just do half cream, half milk, and they come out fantastic every time. I've made a pear one so far, a pear and cinnamon one and a blackberry one with blackberry jam, and they both came out really great. All right, next one is Eaton Mess flavored. Eaton Mess is a dessert, I guess. Uh, smashed strawberries, sweet crumbly meringue, and cream. It has apple pieces, rose hip, hibiscus, elderberries, freeze-dried strawberries, licorice, strawberry pieces, and some natural flavoring in it. That one sounds like it's going to be lovely. And again, it doesn't have any any actual tea listed in the tea ingredients. So technically it's a tisane, but it should be little to no caffeine in there, if any. There might be some if there's chocolate, sometimes that affects it. Um, this one says Vicky's sponge cake. It's inspired by a Victoria sponge, I assume. Think vanilla sponge cake with a dollop of raspberry jam. This one's a black tea, um, and I think it'll be lovely for, to start the day with this. It sounds like it'll be a really indulgent tea blend. Last few here, I've got Dozy Girl, a soothing sleepy time blend of chamomile, lavender, and rose. I got this one because it reminded me of the flavor profile of Honey Lullaby, which is a David's Tea tea. Um, they also have a chamomile lavender rose um, motif to that one, so I hope this is similar. It's a sleepy time tea, obviously, uh, with the chamomile and lavender. Those are definitely sleepy time ingredients, so I think that they'll be really fantastic to help me get to sleep at night and a really nice warm, comforting cup right before bed. I got this one called fruit salad. And if, if I don't need to reference any more children's programs today, I already did the mail song from uh, Blue's Clues, so I don't need to do the fruit salad from Wiggles, but that's <laughs> what it reminded me of right away. Um, it's inspired by Fruit Salad Chews, the glorious penny sweet of your childhood. Really intriguing this one here as well. This is also a herbal or a tisane tea. There is no actual tea in it. Um, that one should be fun and it'll probably be really good iced. This one here is called Lady Lavender and it is a lavender scented Earl Grey tea. Um, so it's just lavender, bergamot oil, and black tea. Those are the only ingredients with um, Cylon black tea being the main component. And last but not least, the thing I got in my actual envelope was the, my first installment of their tea club box. I got it with my other order so that I would have the free shipping. Uh, and I just had them send it right away because I was so excited to give it a try. So like I said, the arts that they had sent me, this one is for January and it's stuck right on the envelope. But those other little stickers that they had given me were from past months, it looks like. All right. So it looks like these are also of the the 20 gram size variety as well. They sent a little um, tea measuring spoon. Uh, it says it's a one cup of perfect tea measure. Uh, it has that embossed on the handle. I think that's really lovely. And they sent three. This first one here is called Good Calmer, and it says, take a moment of you with this cocoa, turmeric, and ginger brew. Ooh, that one will be interesting. I actually am not huge on the turmeric and ginger thing, but I think the cocoa will really amp that one up. That should be really interesting. 
The next blend is just called Relax. Defrazzle Chamomile Exam and Everyday Life Soother. It's a white tea with apple pieces, rosehip, chamomile, linden blossom. Hmm, I don't think I've ever had a tea with linden in it before. Passion flower, orange peel, valerian, blue cornflower, and natural flavoring. Wow, does that one ever sound like it'll be really floral and lovely? Passion flower, linden blossom, rose hip. It should be really, really flowery and fragrant. I look forward to trying that one. Sorry to interrupt, but we had a little pigeon visitor hanging out on our balcony, so I had to stop to say hi to him. Anyway, carry on. This one is Zigazing Ah, and it is a all the zest and zing you want from a juicy lemon and ginger tea. Oh, that one will be good for your throat too. We'd love a good lemon and ginger tea with a bit of honey in it for, to coat your throat. Um, ginger, apple pieces, rose hip, fermented lemon peel, lemon myrtle, orange peel, and natural flavoring. Those are the ingredients of that one, and it seems like it's going to be very lemony. I wonder if that one would be good with like a lemon infused honey. Have to give that a shot and see. Oh, and I forgot to mention they did provide a little card with the descriptions of all of their uh, teas that they sent along in the box with the matching art to go with the box, which I thought was kind of cool. They do label some of them as without milk in case they have hibiscus in them because hibiscus curdles milk in your lattes, so you can't make those ones as a latte. In the case of this box, the only ones that don't work are just the relax one can't be made with milk, but the other ones can. Uh, this artwork on the box was made by Maureen Keeney, and her Instagram is at M-O-K-E-E-N underscore Mo Keen. Lovely art, it just looks so cozy and warm. And in the bottom of the box, they gave me a membership card to their special website for uh, returning customers. And they sent along a few tea strainer bags. I don't need any of these because I use my um, Ingenuity Brewer, my little um, pressure plate brewer that you guys have seen in videos before. But these are always good to have around, especially if I'm making multiple cups of tea at a time for me and someone else. All right, now with that being said, please let me know down in the comments down below what teas you sound interested in, which ones you think you'd like to try, and if you ever head over to Bird and Blend and you give them a try yourselves, I'd love to hear about it. Keep it locked to my channel for some reviews of some of these teas as time goes on. I would love to hear, hear from you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can support my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Got some walking videos planned, especially around my new area. I would love to share the area I live in with you guys, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss those. Alright, and that's all from me for today, so have a great one.